we have a lot of uh, uh, rehabilitation we're doing to the inmates in capacity building uh, with the support of uh, all the organizations uh, headed uh, by our uh, partners in ANMIS. Uh, they have a good relationship also with other organizations whereby they are bringing support to the inmates, especially now at the moment we have vocational training centers being established by UNDP and uh, the, UN, the, the, the ANMIS rule of law is not far from this support. They are doing a lot, for example, the database uh, offices we have and even the quick impact projects across the country. Basically, the rights of the prisoners are actually mostly monitored by, by our human rights uh, uh, colleagues. But at the same time, as rule of law advisory section, we also perform the same function. But our function is more towards support of the National Prison Service. And this particular workshop today that we are talking about, uh, its story is uh, uh, quite an old story because this workshop is the outcome of uh, the seventh uh, NPSS leadership conference that happened in December 2019. At that conference was actually supported by UNMIS. Uh, in that conference, uh, the, the, the leadership of the prison service came up with recommendations and resolutions to reform the prison service. The methodology we have in prison service, we should be open and transparent service and ethical, responsive to, to any cooperation with the international or national or local organizations. At the end, because the responsibility of reforming and rehabilitating the inmates is not the responsibility of the prison service alone, but I think all of us, we have that responsibility of supporting National Prison Service of South Sudan so that we make that the rehabilitation and the reintegration of inmates to the societies are done and, uh, and, and, and implemented.